Okay, um, this is this uh, bargain I picked up from eBay. Um, I'm sure you would know what it is. It's a Canon XL H1. It's a high def camera. Um, it's got a little bit of a problem on it, and I'm, I'm going to actually show you what the problem is on it. Uh, it's a common problem with the Canon XL2 and XL1s. Um, what it's getting is getting frame dropouts, um, whereas you go to try and play back something or even record some of that and the frames keep stopping and starting, stopping and starting. Well it's quite a common problem with the XL H1 and XL A1. Um, so I'm just going to show you what the problem is. Uh, but just before I do that, um, I'm going to show you um, this this thing's in absolute immaculate condition, there's no marks on it. Uh, I've checked everything else works okay, the lens all works okay. Um, I am I do have what we call have a Canon um, uh, uh, hard drive connected to it, which I could use. Obviously, uh, this is a, uh, a DN60. This is a hard drive, uh, which is quite not a nice little bit of kit to have on it. But um, I particularly want to try and repair this XLH1, and I, I I'm going to show you how I'm going to show us. Okay, but just before I do that, um, just to prove you guys, um, here it is down here. Look, this is what I paid for it. Right, so it's a Canon. Um, as we can see, that's a Canon XL H1, and I only paid £407 for it. Um, and it absolutely things in absolutely immaculate condition. Can you see it down there? 407 right. um, So I live in the UK, um, so this is a power machine. Uh, so I've checked everything else, and it's working fine. Um, as I said, it's quite a common problem with. Uh, the XL1 and um, uh, XL1, XL2, there's an XL2 over there which I had a problem with, exactly the same problem. So let me show you guys what it is. Okay, if we just turn it round, okay. And I'm going to open the door up. Okay, I'm going to try and shine the light in here. And I'm going to show you, if I can get my camera in there. Let's see if I can get it inside. Just bear with me a minute. Okay, now where's my little key tip? Okay. Now if I point the camera right inside, can you guys see this little thing here? I'm pointing here. There's the pinch roller. Well if you watch, it's moving. Can you see it? It's moving forward and backwards, so it shouldn't be doing that. On top of there, it's hard to get the camera in. On top of there, there's a little plastic clip. And what it does, the plastic clip breaks, and then this starts going up and down, backwards and forwards. So when you're recording the tape, what it's doing, it's pulling the tape, slipping the tape through, so you're not going to get a smooth picture. So, um, as I said, there's a little black plastic clip, and what they do is they, they just break, get brittle, they break, and then this thing starts sliding forward and backwards like this. So you can see it's nearly coming off, actually. I haven't even put a tape in this yet because I know exactly what's wrong with it when I, just before I bought it. So, um, um, what can you do about that? Well, simple at least. Uh, we have to do, if all, mind you, you have to be a bit more uh, 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 careful with your electronics equipment. I wouldn't advise you do this unless, of course, you know what you're doing. So, first thing you need to do is you need to remove the door. Or obviously, take the battery off first. Very important. You need to remove the door on the side. There's two screws on the side where this door would actually come off on the on the HD one, HD one. Um, and then you can either do two things. You can either order the part from Canon. It's like a little plastic clip that fits on the top. It's on the pincher roller. Or you can do what I did. Now, what I did with the XL2, which is over that. So I've got another one upstairs up in the loft. Um, so I have two of these. I managed to get hold of. A little bit of rubber. Now I'll try and get it on the camera. Uh, this bit of rubber is approximately well, it's soft. It's, it's fairly soft, but also hard on the outside sort of thing. And what you have to do is you have to cut it to the right length. It's about I would say about two mil across the width, and about a mil hole. I don't know if you can see it. It's very very tiny. It's just a little tiny bit of rubber there, let's see. 
And what I'd done, I managed to cut it the correct side for the XL2, which is over there. And also had the same problem with the other one, which is exactly what this one is. And I managed to cut it, and what you do, you have to slide this down the shaft of the pincher roller. So, because uh, you see your rubber thing, going to slide off when that plastic clip comes off in there. going to come off. All right. See, it's nearly coming off now. Can you see it, Booby? Should be set right back there, and that's causing the picture to drop out. So when you take the clip off, you're going to have the pinch roller in your hand, and then what you're going to do, there's going to be a centre bit down the middle of that, and you're going to push. You're going to, have to be very careful. You're going to, have to push some sort of rubber stuffing to go straight between the pinch roller, such down there, sort of thing. So anyway. It's up to you whether you're not, but I've been quite successful. And as I said, I'm going to do this one now. I'm going to take the door off and I'm going to remove this plastic clip, which is allowing this pincher roll to go forwards and backwards. Right, as you can see, it's moving up, going forwards and backwards. And I'm actually going to repair this XLH1. Uh, as I said, you could get the part from Canon if you wanted to. Um, as I said, this thing's come with all the books, <coughs> or the charger. Or even the holder that goes on the back it come with it, it's not a blemish on it at all. And I've thoroughly checked it over. Um, I've, I've checked the um, DN60 on the back, the firewire port, that's all okay on the back. So it's just really trying to get this rubber thing, right, as you can see, I'll just move it again. It's moving forwards and backwards, can you see? It's got a little bit of plane, it's going forward and backwards, forwards and backwards. Right, and that's because that plastic clip is getting worn or it's broken, and that's what's causing all the dropouts on the XLH1. Right, okay, so hope this helps. Um, good luck. Anyway, thanks for watching.